Mountains. Again, it is poorly organized. The, the mountains over Cuba really disrupted the circulation of this system. You could just see the thunderstorms pretty much all over the place. You could find the center right there north and northwest of Havana. So we still have winds of 35 miles per hour and wind gusts of 45 miles per hour moving west northwest at 12 miles per hour. So it is expected to remain an area of low pressure as it heads into the eastern Gulf of Mexico tomorrow morning. But because the water is so warm, further strengthening is expected into a tropical storm, a weak tropical storm before it makes landfall either along the Mississippi coast or the Florida Panhandle. Now the models are in pretty good consensus taking it into the eastern Gulf of Mexico, but then we're looking at a pretty good spread as it makes landfall. So landfall as of right now uncertain, but the good news is, is that we are still outside of the cone of uncertainty, but we're going to watch that system very closely. Also, as Fred moves into the Gulf of Mexico, it'll be battling some wind share keeping it rather weak even though it could possibly strengthen into a hurricane it is unlikely the other system that i am watching very closely we now have tropical storm grace that formed out in the atlantic basin earlier this morning pretty organized you could really see the convection associated with this storm but it is moving fast west at 23 miles per hour and we have maximum sustained winds of 45 miles per hour so that storm is pretty on pretty organized rather and the projected path takes it over the leeward islands as a tropical system and also the caribbean islands through the work week. So we're going to continue to watch the system very closely. But notice as we head into your Wednesday and Thursday, the cone is rather big, so it is uncertain if it heads into the Gulf of Mexico or not. Of course, we're going to watch it very closely, but the computer models are in pretty good consensus, taking it over the islands throughout the rest of the week. Locally, we are very quiet. I'm not tracking any showers right now, so we all are starting off dry showers, mainly over the Gulf of Mexico, and that is it. Even our coastal area is looking fantastic. Fantastic. Over New Orleans, plenty of sunshine, 88 degrees. It feels like the upper 90s because dew points are in the mid 70s. So hot and humid, typical August pattern. And for the rest of us here north of the lake, 88 in Covington as well as Bogalusa, 85 in Raceland and 83 degrees in Thibodeau. Now today, temperatures are expected to climb into the mid 90s today, slightly above average, but nonetheless, it's going to be hot and humid. And I am looking for a 50% coverage of showers and thunderstorms. And even though temperatures will climb into the mid 90s today, it is going to feel like the upper 90s, so make sure you're staying hydrated while you're out and about today. And make sure you have that umbrella with you because I am expecting showers and storms later on today. Homa, same deal. Isolated showers and storms are possible in your area, starting off with sunshine, but we'll start seeing those clouds continue to build across the area. So as we take a look at a few models, again, today I am looking for a 40%, 50% coverage of rain and thunderstorms as we head into the afternoon. Tonight, a few showers and thunderstorms are possible in a few spots, but I am expecting mainly cloudy conditions. But tomorrow, starting off nice and dry, but then those clouds continuing to build, you get that daytime heating. More showers and thunderstorms are in the forecast tomorrow afternoon. And notice the coverage. I am looking for a 60% coverage tomorrow, settling down as we head into Sunday night. And then Monday morning, a few showers and thunderstorms are possible. And then Monday afternoon, I really expect showers and storms to start uh, firing up across the area and quick heavy downpours are possible Monday afternoon. So of course we'll be watching the flooding potential. Here's a look at your 70 forecast. Hot and humid today, 94. Starting off with sunshine. Watch out for showers and storms later on this evening or this afternoon rather. Tomorrow, same deal. Hot and humid throughout the rest of the week and we are looking at uh, moderate chances or rain chances Monday through